Hello again, just thought I'd put up another quick uh, video tutorial which explains another one of my favorite features. Now, this one, let me uh, show you what this is all about by showing you the game. Oh, I have sound. Not what I wanted, but it's a good uh, idea, a good way of showing you how to uh, do what I want to do. It is to um, disable things. So, where's our music? We can use the events and type in music. Oh, didn't work. How about audio? How about I learn how to spell? There we go. Right, so it's this one play Africa looping tag. What we do is simply toggle disabled. So, what that means is that you don't have to delete the code and come back to it, you just sort of delete it uh, temporarily, let's say. Now, what I wanted to show you is. At the moment, what you do, you start the level, you have to collect that gem over there, come over here, collect that gem over there, then this exit opens, ah, da, 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 goes on to the next level. There you go, you go ahead, collect all these gems as well. You get the idea. Once you've collected all the gems, this portal over here will open back up. And um, see if you try to go through the portal now. Ah, oh, it doesn't work, but he's still happy. That's all right. So, what I wanted to do because I was rapidly doing quite a few different tests, I just wanted to um, have these all get destroyed at the, at the same time. So I'm just going to quickly put in a new event, but I'm going to put in a group actually. Let's uh, let's delete this search, clear search. There we go, scroll down to the bottom. I was in the middle of doing it when I thought, hey, I'm going to make a video about this instead. So quickly put that in there. The good thing about groups is that you can um, you can disable like the entire group. So there you go, that will disable everything. So whatever I put in here, I can just toggle. So I'm going to rename this because it's always a good idea to rename. And it's usually a good idea to comment on things as well, which I tend not to do. What's that? Temporarily, temporarily destroy object. Oh well, okay, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Edit. Right, let's do this. Um, delete gems. Okay, active on start. So, what we do now, I'm just going to have something very simple that says, where is it? Every tick I'm looking for. I clicked on the wrong thing. Oh no, I've already selected it. Oh, silly me. Every click, what we want to do is destroy. So what that will do is find one and destroy it, which means that the portal at the bottom will go, oh, there we go, I've opened up already because everything's destroyed, and I don't have to look at the thing. And the good thing about um, Construct is you can um, carry event events over to the other one, so you can share events. So when I go on to the next level, even though it loads a different layout, all these things are gone already, so that's very useful. So my character doesn't need to collect all the gems just to get past the level he can just go through and exit and what it does is just loop that level as well so that's right you can see I've got the timer working now well done thank you so then what I can do I can put it say for example there was loads and loads and loads of things on this if I didn't want that you just say toggle I know I've already showed you this but I just think it's really useful and that does everything I can show you a better example because I've got uh, Where's my there? This one, for example, end level and toggle disabled. There we go. I think that's just brilliant. Also, it's a good idea to put in these sort of things. So, upon pressing one, restart the layout, which means that you get to test things out a bit more. So, there you go. Move that. He's over there. He's happy. Oh, I want to try that again. One reset, instant reset. It's a good idea, I find, because it allows you to test things a bit more rapidly. I think that's everything uh, to show you on this. Uh, it's a very useful feature, and um, some of the other programs which I've actually tried out don't have that feature, so that is always a good thing. There we go. Now I can also keep things tidy. I'm not doing this very well at all, am I? Look how untidy this is. Okay, so yeah, I'm quite happy with that little feature, if I do say so myself.